What up, YouTube? Thanks for coming to my channel. My name is One of a Kind Vlogs. If you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, cut on post notifications so you never miss a video, and comment down below. Today is day three of Black History Month. Now, today we're going to talk about Fanny Jackson Copen, teacher, principal, literature, missionary of Africa. A warrior against the most cruel obsession. Fanny Jackson Copen conquered overwhelming obstacles and became the beacon by which future generations would set their courses. Both a slave in the nation's capital, the child Fanny was purchased by an aunt. Another aunt took the little girl in, but Fanny had to go out and work as domestic, as a domestic, getting schooling whenever she could. She could. By age 14, she was supporting herself in Newport, Rhode Island, and struggling for education. It was in me, she wrote years later, to get the education and teach my people. The idea was deep in my soul. She attended Rhode Island State Normal School and then Oberlin College, where her achievements were amazing. She was the first black person chosen to be a pu public teacher there. In her senior year, she organized even classes to teach freedmen. After her graduation in 1865, Fanny Jackson was appointed to the Institute of Colored Youth, a Quaker school in Philadelphia, wherein four years she became head principal, from which position she influenced two generations of young people. In the letter she wrote to Frederick Douglass in 1876, she explained her commitment. I feel sometimes like a person to whom a ch in childhood was entrusted some sacred flame. This is the desire to see my face lifted out of the mirror of ignorance, ignorance weakness, and degraded degradation no longer to sit in obs obscured corners and devour the scraps of knowledge which is superior flung at him i want to see him crowned with strength and dignity and Ab adored with the enduring grace of in Intellectual attack, attachment. And that last word, it just comes off wrong, but it's the right word. Her school was centered on his on this dream. She expanded the circulum to include an industrial department, established a woman's industrial exchange to display the mechanical and artistic works of young women and founded a home for girls and young women to house worker from out of town. Now she did a lot. Hmm. Moreover, she persuaded employees to hire their pupils in that would utilize their education. In 1881, she married Reverend Levi J. Copen, a prominent AME minister, and together they were driven forth in Black America. She continued her work at the school that added missionary work for her interests. Miss Copen retired from her beloved school in 1902 at the age of 65 and began and, and began a new career. She accompanied her husband, now a bishop, to Cote to Cape, Cape Town, South Africa, 
where she was an effective missionary. She returned to Philadelphia in 1907, broken in health, but not in spirit. In her last years, she completed her autobiography, Reminiscence of School Life, which remains a record of the remarkable life of Fanny Jackson Fulton, died in 1913 at the age of 76. Perhaps her greatest accomplishment was her influence on her students. She probed them towards excellency. She made them dream. She made them become more than ever thought they could. Frances Fanny Marion Jackson Copen was indeed a model of academic excellency both of her life and in her inheritance that she has bequittled to those who follow. Now, I finally made it through that. It wasn't that bad. But she had done a lot of stuff for the women and, you know, for her students and stuff, which is, you know, I learned a lot. So that's the end of my video. And if you're new to the channel, like, subscribe, turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this video. Uh, remember, you're too blessed to be stressed. Loving happens at all times. Hug somebody and tell them you love them. And always do a random act of kindness. <sighs> to join my channel is $2.99. Feel free to join. Feel free to comment. Feel free to super chat. Whatever you want to do. You know what I'm saying? It ain't, all about, it ain't about the money. I'm not doing it for the money. But all, if you do... Give money. Let me say that the money is going to be put back into the channel so I can do games and, and all this other stuff that I want to do giveaways and stuff. Now, I have merch. This is Valentine month. Um, I have it right now. I have it at 20% off on any all any merch that I have on my on my channel. Um, feel free to go over there and cop some merch. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.